Hello everyone and welcome back to Shelter and we are here once again as a mother badger of currently five little cubs and we're searching all over the place desperately trying to gather enough food. We just fed our baby some frog legs. All right, who's hungry? Who's looking kind of pale? Pretty much everybody. Here you go. All right, there's lots of bugs over here too. Don't get any parasites, anybody. But yeah, we're, we're starting to get to a little bit more competition. The babies are starting to get kind of hungry. Five babies is a lot of cubs to try to keep alive. So I'm kind of nervous, but I'm gonna do my best to be a good mother badger. But remember guys, in like nature, there's a system of checks and balances with the availability of resources. So I'm trying to tell myself that's why I won't be sad if not all of them make it, but I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna do my best to be a good mama badger. Yes, there's some food. There's some food for hungry babies. All right, let's get this. There we go. Oh, dang it, you ate it before I could feed it to your maybe hungrier siblings. But that's okay. Maybe that one's really hungry. Maybe I should have gone with a little more delicacy in knocking that apple out. Oh, there we go. There's more food. All right, let's go ahead and snag this and then take it to our hungriest baby. All right, ooh, we've got a lot of hungry babies though. Okay, hold still. Hold still, little ones. Oh, there you are. You're getting really pale. There you go, buddy. All right, so hopefully that'll help some of our babies. And we're gonna have to keep moving and just hunting and looking and searching for more food at this point, because they need to keep their strength up. All right, kids, into the grass. If you don't keep your strength up, there's a good chance you might end up being food, and that would be devastatingly sad. The cycle of life, perhaps, but that doesn't mean I don't have to cry about it. All right, come along, kidlets. All right, let's see. Oh, look at this. Now this is so beautiful. No, no, no philosophizing, Mama Badger. Last time I, I turned out, I totally turned around and almost starved the babies to death because I, I was caught up in how gorgeous this is. But it is gorgeous. Nope, 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 kids, nope. Oh, dang it. Ah, survival of the fittest is really trying to win out here. I need to target the weaker babies. But there's not many species that will do that, actually. Most species will actually usually have the weakest of their young um, die off pretty early on because it truly is like who's the toughest, who can endure the most. But there are some species. Okay, quick grab it before the kids do. No, mine. All right, one baby left who's really needing it. Do I get him? There you go, little one. It's for you. There you go. But there are some species that will go out of their way to try to make sure that their young survive and that their young grow and flourish, even if they aren't the strongest. There's species that will actually take care of young who are not their own. And it's really, that's just so fascinating. Because when you think of it purely in the like logical objective terms, that makes absolutely no sense. Oh boy, where are we going? Let's do this. Okay, babies over here. I have food. I have, I have like a turnip, I have a thing. Any of you desperately hungry yet? Not yet, so mom's gonna carry this till we find more food. All right, there's another, there's more food. Here's a little tree over here. All right, we're just gonna kind of trump a lump through the forest. I'm gonna ram this tree. All right, let's see which babies end up running over to the apple first. Babies? Oh geez, I was getting really worried. I was like, where are my babies? All right, so that guy, that's kind of where you step to the side and you let the survival of the fittest aspects come back out. Who's going to be quickest? Who's going to be fastest? And they're going to be the ones who probably have the best chance to survive. But I, I really like all my little babies. Look at them. I'm trying not to get too attached. Come along, stripies. Do my little stripey crew. Oh, look at the butterflies. Oh, all right, so we're going to climb through the little flowers. All right, children. I don't like being so exposed. Dive it for the flowers. All right, again, dive for the grass. Come along, stripey crew. Are they coming? All right, I like them. I secretly like the one in front and the one with the stripe down its back the best, but you're never supposed to tell your kids that, so don't tell them that. All right, so let's see. We're really exposed out here. So I'm gonna keep dragging the kids in. Just because you're a predator does not mean you don't have threats. All right, come on, kids. There's my five little stripes. All right, let's run over here. Just being super duper cautious. Okay. 
Oh, look at the birds. I don't know. Oh, wow, there's a white bird too. Oh, and the moon. <gasps> so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, and there's more food. All right, come along, kids. All right, whoops. What's going on here? Oh, he sensed me. Now this is an example. There we go. Of the two species. See, and there's like the little burrow that he might have popped out of as his home. All right, who's hungry? Pretty much everybody. Okay, I'm gonna give some food to you. But yeah, see the little the little holes everywhere, where the mice and the rodents might be popping out of, and they could be eating this grass. They could be eating the bulbs. They could be eating dun 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 dun, dun fallen apples. All right, who's to it first? Okay, kids are doing okay so far. But that is kind of back to that push and pull of resources. The in, like the little mice that can hear the best, they can hear the rustle of the grass as the badger like lurks beyond. Those guys might be the ones to get away. And after, over time, eventually, those little mice that have better hearing might have more population because they have kids and they're able to survive. And the mice with the worse hearing, not so much. Oh, don't whine, babies. We'll find you some food. Mom's looking for some mice. I don't see any mice. Maybe there were more mice back there. Oh, I think we're above our burrow now. Oh my goodness. Where are we now? Oh, gracious. Wow. Well, this is really pretty. Oh my gosh. All right, kids, don't fall off the cliff. That would be that would be quite the humble way to, to go. No, what did I just say, Junior? Don't run off the cliff. I don't need cliff diving badger children. Oh, somebody found some food. See, this is an example of somebody who's really quite the survivor, but I'm gonna feed it to your hungrier siblings. Good job, kid. You get kudo points. I'll get, try to give you the next frog or rat. All right, no, don't dive off the cliff. I don't need cliff diving badger babies, please. All right, let's see. All right, those birds are getting a little bit closer. Ooh, there's the pretty tree. All right, let's do this. Climb into here. Oh, <gasps> there's a Mr. Fox. Badger babies. Badger babies, this is where we could be running into some issues. Stay here, badger babies. No, 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 no. All right, Fox, back off. Oh, okay, he saw me. All right, badger babies. To me, badger babies. All right, where'd the fox go? Who knows? He's gonna be after my kits, though, or my cubs. I'm not sure what badger babies are called. All right, where'd he go? The bushes have turned against us. He could be in here. He could be lurking. All right, children in here. Quick, camouflage. They camouflage so good, I don't even know if they're in here yet or not. Okay, sneak, sneak, sneak. Wait, 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 kids. All right. Children, I wish I could leave you behind, but I suppose we must all learn together how important it is. Dive into the grass over here. Can't see anything because of the trees. And... Da -da 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 -da. Almost. Well, the kids started getting excited. We're on the great the great fox hunt. Oh my gosh. All right, let's do this. Oh, come along, children. Against the wall. All right, I'm gonna sneak. Sneak. Sneak like sneaky badger. Around the corner. Where is he? Oh, he's already moved on. All right. Well, I don't know if we're gonna get this fox. I need to feed Junior back there. So let's keep running over here. I think I have to, is the thing. All right. Sneak, 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 sneak. Dash! Oh no, you really have to be so close. Okay, well, where's that tree? I saw a tree with fruit somewhere here. It's way down there, okay. Yeah, Mr. Fox is running for it. I don't think he's meant to be food. I think I'm just supposed to like chase him off though. All right, come on kids. <gasps> There's mushrooms. I wish my babies could eat mushrooms because then I could just dig up a bunch of them for them. All right, we got some really hungry, some hungry little ones here. So mom's just gonna ignore Mr. Fox for a second. That's probably dumb. All right, wait, 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 wait. Nope, I need that for you. Okay, there we go for this particular baby. Now I have one more baby who's starting to get pretty peckish. I still have that fox in the distance. Ah, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get him. Oh, 
Oh, wow, but it is so pretty here. No, don't get distracted. I have a baby to feed. All right, let's look around. But yeah, I mean, think how hard this would be, you guys, if you just were thrown into the forest and told, get enough food to eat. All right, there's another tree over here. Come along, babies. All right, we gotta watch out for these bushes. I'm worried they're gonna turn against us because I don't know where the fox went. All right, let's come over here. Fox. No fox. All right, I need to come up here. I'm gonna have to grab some food because I have a very hungry baby. All right, no, grab it, grab it before the babies do. Okay, well that baby was hungry too. So that's gonna have to be okay. All right, how do I get down from here? Oh, what's this? Oh, nope, just a random spot. All right, come on, kids. Come on. All right, so we didn't manage to get the fox, but he didn't get any of us. And I think I saw a little turnip. <gasps> There's some turnips! Quickly, children! Quickly, I shall feed you. Okay, come on, come on, mama. All right, and let's go ahead and feed the babies. Where, where'd the babies go? There are the babies. Jeez, that worried me for a second. All right, watch out, children. All right, there you go. There we go, and we'll feed the last hungry baby, and then I think we're ready to continue moving on. Hang on, kids. Hang on. All right, where are you? All right, hang on, little one. And there you go. All right, not doing so bad so far. We still have all five babies. I'm hopefully teaching them some useful things, even if we didn't fortunately learn how to chase down the fox and make sure that he doesn't eat us. But, you know, the struggle for resources, the competition, we're still doing pretty good. All right, come on, kids. All right, so I will see you guys next time as we continue. Where's... Okay, wait. Why are there four? Hello? Hello? Oh, jeez. I have one very dumb baby. <laughs> and that, that there... That there was almost a little heart attack, but we have all five kids now, and so we will continue down the path, and we will see what is coming up next in the story of this mama badger and her little babies. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.